Welcome everyone. If we have not met, my name is Dr. Pamela Frank. I am a licensed naturopathic doctor in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and I love supporting people who are motivated to treat their anxiety and mental health holistically. I can help you remove unnecessary stress and anxiety from your life without the added pressure of prescription medications. If you have any questions during our time together, please feel free to post them in the comments and I will do my best to respond quickly. For those of you accustomed to dealing with anxiety, it will come as no surprise to you to know that it is one of the most commonly experienced mental illnesses among adults in, in America, affecting 40 million a year, or about 18% of the population. Yet the curious thing about this is that there's only 36% of those suffering seek any treatment at all. This tells us several things. One of the, these things is that anxiety is an issue that is not taken seriously enough by those who don't suffer to correct assist, correctly assist those who do. And another is that there must be some issues surrounding the actual treatment that's being recommended too. If you or someone you love has ever been prescribed drugs to help you fight anxiety, you'll know that medication only has varying levels of success in combating the symptoms. For some people, it has positive results. For others, it simply doesn't work, or it comes with unwanted side effects. That's fine for the small percentage who see results, but what about those who don't? 65% of anxiety sufferers in America currently take prescribed drugs daily, and 43% of them take them regularly. It's interesting to consider this large percentage of people who take the drugs, given that the statistics also show that only 10% of those who suffer are receiving adequate treatment. It's also worrying to consider that out of all the people struggling with anxiety and actually receiving over-the-counter treatment, that such a low percentage is effective at all. This only strengthens the su suggestion that the solution is most probably not pharmaceutically based, or at the very least, that anxiety drugs are not for everyone. Holistic health is becoming increasingly popular as the rise of wealthy, globalized pharmaceutical companies continues to dominate the medical industry. This dissatisfaction with modern medical care is not the only reason for the surge in interest, however. As with any ideas worth spreading, the concept of treating imbalances and diseases such as anxiety with natural, holistic methods is something that comes with a firm, reliable basis and also dates back thousands of years. Holistic healthcare takes into account all of the varying aspects of life and the individual as potential causes and remedies to diseases. This means all aspects of physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual health, which contribute to the overall well-being of any individual. As so much of modern-day healthcare focuses on attacking the illness, as opposed to creating overall health, holistic healthcare can be viewed as an overall more wholesome approach to creating and sustaining better health. There are few imbalances of the body and mind that cannot be treated with holistic remedies, and so those who suffer from anxiety are no exception. As awareness of mental health issues like anxiety continues to spread, experts from around the world have begun to study the benefits of enlisting holistic health measures to combat it instead of the addictive lure of prescription drugs. One of the dominant contributing factors to optimum health, which holistic healthcare deals with, is diet. Eating foods which promote a healthy body and mind, while also taking into account individual lifestyle and activity factors, is key to achieving balance in both physical and mental health. In terms of anxiety, there are certain foods which both accentuate and relieve the symptoms of the disorder. Depending on the severity of these symptoms and the person's physical health, holistic professionals will recommend specific foods to assist with relieving the symptoms of anxiety. Some foods that increase the severity of anxiety include caffeine, refined sugar and even some fruits, hydrogenated oils, fast food, high sodium foods, trans fat, processed foods, soy, and alcohol. 
While some of these are more obvious than others, foods such as refined sugar, those that high in sodium fat, trans fat, and hydrogenated oils can be hard to identify unless specified on the packaging. It's best to avoid the food chosen if there's any hint of uncertainty. While it seems like the list of foods containing elements that can prove triggering for anxiety is endless, it is possible to eat a healthy, balanced diet while also leads, which also lends itself to a calm state of mind. Foods such as root vegetables contain vital grounding and soothing properties that help ease the effects of cortisol and other stress-related hormones, as well as foods rich in B vitamins, antioxidants, and omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are vital for our brains to function properly and regulate hormone release. Wild salmon, walnuts, flaxseed, and chia seeds are just some examples of these. Other foods which are known to benefit the symptoms of anxiety are blueberries, almonds, spinach, broccoli, spirulina, raspberries, dark chocolate, quinoa, and red lentils. Curiously, many of these foods also fall into the category of superfoods, a term we've become ever more accustomed to hearing in the health and wellness worlds today. Superfoods are simply foods which contain higher levels of beneficial nutrients, minerals, and vitamins in direct proportion to their composition, and so they're an excellent holistic source of anxiety-reducing nutrients. B vitamins are some of the most happy hormone-inducing foods of all. Eating foods rich in these vitamins will assist with the relief of anxiety. Green vegetables such as asparagus, spinach, and avocados are just some of the foods that you can include in your diet to start combating the effects of those high levels of cortisol. B vitamins and folic acid can also be found in beef, pork, chicken, leafy greens, legumes, oranges, and other citrus fruits, nuts, and eggs. The effects of B vitamins varies, however, on the extremity of the anxiety. Someone who experiences acute anxiety, for example, may not have as much success with B vitamins as someone who only has a milder form. It's definitely worth trying, and there are numerous B vitamin supplements you can try to find out which is best for you. B vitamins are water soluble and they occur in eight forms, B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12. They are necessary for proper brain function, and some signs that you may be deficient in B vitamins include the following. Fatigue, headaches, nervousness, irritability, anxiety, cramps, tingling in the hands and feet, and nausea. As more and more medical schools and practices begin to integrate the emphasis on mind-body connection and holistic medicine to modern-day treatments, the age-old practice of traditional Chinese medicine remains one of the most deeply rooted and effective traditions in medicinal history. The origin of many holistic remedies and treatments we now have in the Western world comes directly from the example set by the ancient Chinese herbalists who relied on nature and their understandings of the human body and mind to both prevent and cure diseases. Their focus on the prevention of the onset of the disease is where we see the effects most directly. Many stories of herbalists and medic medicine men living well past the average life expectancy of their era, having followed herbally supplemented and longevity boosting lifestyles, is a testament to the power of these natural remedies. Taking responsibility and interest in one's health and lifestyle changes can be seen in this case as a paramount element of holistic health care, as so much of it is extremely personal and tailored to the individual's needs. This is why it's so important for you to cultivate awareness of your own individual needs during treatment, and this is what any holistic professional will ask of you and aim to promote. Stemming from the traditional Chinese medicinal methods of healing and prevention, many strains of herbs and remedies lend themselves to consumption in the form of a tea. 
tea leaves have been broadly acknowledged around the world as one of the most effective natural remedies for fighting signs of stress and anxiety. And the beautiful thing about this kind of treatment against symptoms of anxiety is that the effects can be felt almost immediately and the herbs are so readily available. One of the best reasons to enlist the help of herbs, such as chamomile, in the treatment of illness or disease is that unlike many modern medical treatments, there is no toxic fallout after the body has finished processing the benefits of the tea. Herbs such as chamomile and lavender have specific healing and soothing qualities, which means that drinking water infused with these leaves can have almost immediate and lasting effects on anxiety. The natural stress relievers have been used as remedies and recipes for centuries all over the world and are widely available in the form of tea leaves. Chamomile preparations are also used for many other common ailments such as hay fever, inflammation, muscle spasms, menstrual disorders, insomnia, ulcers, wounds, gastrointestinal disorders, rheumatic pain, and hemorrhoids. Peppermint is another readily available herb which lends itself to soothing the effects of stress and anxiety. In the form of herbs or oil extracted naturally from the herb, it can be used in many different ways, and consuming peppermint tea when stressed or before bed is a great way to immediately calm the nervous system and prepare it for a state of calm and sleep. The menthol base is a natural muscle relaxant and so promotes the physical sensations required to relax your body and prepare it for sleep. Teas such as peppermint, chamomile, and lavender contain no caffeine and as such are much preferable to coffee for soothing the effects of anxiety. Peppermint also assists with digestion, headaches, and can help create a cooling effect which counteracts the heated fear associated with panic attacks. Peppermint is also a natural energizer and promotes clear skin and sinuses, all of which aid with easing anxiety themselves. The place where the anxious person lives, where they work, and the people they surround themselves with can work as contributing factors to heightened levels of anxiety. The trouble is that many people who struggle with anxiety neglect to consider their environment as a factor to their suffering, and it becomes increasingly easy to blame themselves as opposed to the actual external contributing factors. Holistic healthcare methods suggest that to lower the effects of anxiety, the environment we surround ourselves in must promote a healthy, positive attitude towards ourselves, our work, and our relationships. It makes sense that what we experience externally will impact our senses and quality of being internally, our happiness and how we process it. For this reason, lighter, brighter, cleaner, and more open spaces are thought to improve the symptoms of anxiety. As people in Western countries spend an increasing amount of time indoors, especially during the colder months, the importance of positive environments is only accentuated and holistic health professionals will recommend spending more time outdoors and in nature as good ways to combat anxiety. It's been proven that stress levels can rise in unpleasant environments which don't lend themselves to our emotional comfort. And so holistic health calls into question the environment in which you live, work, and interact with others. It's vital that these elements can be completely in balance and in line with your requirements to maximize your mental health and productivity. Think about it. If you don't feel good, comfortable, or valued in your environment, how are you supposed to function to the height of your potential? How are you expected to do your best work, be the best version of you, and feel at home in your own skin while doing so? One thing that can assist in creating a more positive, calm-inducing, and anxiety-soothing home environment is by diffusing essential oils. All natural essential oils such as lavender, peppermint, chamomile, and many more are known to have positive effects on those under stress or suffering from anxiety, so it's a good idea to have them on hand at home to combat any unwanted episodes. Essential oils contain tiny aromatic molecules which can pass through the blood-brain barrier immediately and have an almost instantaneous effect on the areas of the brain associated with stress, 
anxiety, panic, and even depression. Lavender is known to affect the central nervous system directly, which is associated with sensations of intense anxiety and stress. Here are some ways to use essential oils. Inhale them directly. Rub one or two drops in your cupped palms and take a long, deep breath. Rub them directly, one, rub one or two drops of oil into your temples, wrists, or anywhere to feel full body relaxation. Use them on the go by putting a few drops on a handkerchief, cotton pad, or on a scarf and inhale as needed. Add them to your shower. Immerse yourself in an essential oil steam by adding a couple of drops in your shower. Remember to plug or cover the drain and inhale deeply. Note, it should be noted that most readily available oils require diluting before using them topically. This can be done with any carrier oil such as olive oil, jojoba oil, fractionated coconut oil, etc. Also remember, please do not ingest essential oils. They are not intended to take them internally. It doesn't have to be a holistic health specialist that tells you that exercise and keeping active is an extremely effective way of preventing the onset of many illnesses, not just anxiety and depression. The holistic way of approaching healthcare focuses not only on the period of recovery after an illness, but on the lifestyle as a whole during periods of wellness too. The more integrated the holistic measures during these periods, the more optimized they become, and the higher the level of overall health you can expect to experience. Exercise is thought to be one of the most invigorating and effective ways to combat periods of anxiety, stress, or depression, as the endorphins produced after even a short 10-minute walk have similar effects to taking aspirin for a headache. Exercise has been proven scientifically to elevate moods, and more physically active people also show lower instances of anxiety and depression. There have been countless studies done for both holistic and scientific purposes to investigate the effects of physical activity on the brain, all of which conclude that even moderate to light exercise is vital for optimum functioning and balanced moods. Whether it's yoga, running, climbing, weightlifting, swimming, or hiking, the effects of moving your body and engaging in physical exercise are unlike anything else for achieving stress and anxiety relief. The best way to find an activity that suits you is simply to try them, see what works for you and your lifestyle, and what you can realistically incorporate into your everyday life. If you have ever experienced indigestion, you'll know how uncomfortable and stress-inducing it can be. It can render you incapable of focusing on any other task. It can make you irritable and anxious to be around. And this is only when it happens once in a while. Imagine if it happened every day after every meal. For anyone who suffers from celiac disease, they might be familiar with such extremes of indigestion. Even if you're not celiac, We've all experienced the discomfort, negative emotions, and bad moods that can result from a period of indigestion. That's why it came as no surprise, or at least a little bit of relief, to learn that gut health has significant parallels to our mental state, as several recent studies have proven and publicized. The theory is that gut bacteria are intricately linked with our brain via the nervous system, spinal cord, hormones, and immune system. The vagus nerve is the main communicator between these, and it transmits neurotransmitters from the base of the spine, which is conveniently located near your gut, to your brain. This is important because it further supports the facts which holistic healthcare has promoted for centuries, that what we put into our bodies truly does affect the way our minds work and the feelings of positivity or negative negativity we experience. It supports the theories surrounding certain foods and their benefit or disadvantage of promoting happiness and decreasing anxiety. There are endless benefits to this understanding, mainly being that it gives us a better idea of which foods to eat, to expect a larger surge of positive emotions, or at the very least which foods to avoid to ensure we don't experience them. Fibrous foods and those with nutrients easily absorbed by the digestive tract are top of the list while those with a denser composition rank lower. A full list can be seen below.
flow state is a relatively new term that has been coined to define a state of intense, creative, and productive focus, whereby the person slips into an undistracted state of intense concentration whilst completing a task. It's definitely not a new phenomenon, as humans have been creating and focusing in such a way as flow state entails since time began. However, recent developments in technology that have damaged our attention span and ability to focus have recently drawn awareness back to the importance and significance of achieving a state of flow, causing a need for definition. The importance of flow state can be measured on both a personal level, how much you focus can affect how you feel fulfilled by your work or other flow activity, and yet also on an overall level of health and well-being as neuroscience has proven that those who engage in flow state more regularly have overall higher levels of happiness and sense of balance in life. Finding your flow is a great way to ensure that your mood and sense of clarity don't dip too low, helping you avoid anxiety and stress and maintain productivity levels at their highest. It can also help you escape a bout of anxiety, even though doing so might prove slightly more difficult. Some ways or suggestions to help you find your flow include, one, reading a book. The simple act of reading a book has nowadays even been adapted to screen time as Kindles and phone apps take over. Reading increases our ability to focus. And another principle of flow state is that the more we engage with it, the easier it becomes to access. Notice when you are at your most focused and productive and take note of the following, what are you doing? Who are you with? What environment are you in? What have your activity levels been like? What have your recent eating habits been like? How would you rate your overall mood, satisfaction, and anxiety levels? Although flow state is by no means exclusive to those who work in a creative field, it has been observed that a large percentage of those who suffer from acute anxiety are in fact highly creative people. This would suggest that anxious energy is simply an excess of creative energy and potential that a lack of direction has caused to manifest as stress. If so, it's a case of redirecting this energy solely towards the task at hand and not allowing anxious thoughts to drive awareness elsewhere. Much like training your mind to read, to study, or to focus on any task you must complete, Flow state takes consistent and repeated engagement to become easier. So don't worry if it doesn't come immediately, just be sure to notice it when it does. Yoga and meditation are both activities which have been proven to improve and assist in accessing our flow state. By consistently engaging our bodies and minds into a state of internal focus and concentration in the form of physical postures, or asanas, mindful breathing techniques, pranayama, and directing awareness to the thoughts and emotions as they arise, meditation. This focus and awareness when sustained with over some time is ultimately a prime example of the human mind in a state of flow. Thus, yoga and meditation are also hugely beneficial in combating simple symptoms of anxiety and stress. By promoting a sense of ease and well-being within our bodies and minds, yoga and meditation succeed in reducing the intensity of cortisol and other anxiety-related hormones, and also give us tools to use against the onset of them in future times of struggle. While many Western yoga classes today focus primarily on the physical aspect of the practice, the physical fitness, which is attainable by practicing the asanas, is only a part of what makes yoga so beneficial. When practiced properly with awareness, mindful breathing and attention to the body's individual needs, yoga and meditation can promote a sense of mental fitness too. Combine mental fitness with physical fitness and consistent levels of sustained focus and you have a powerful holistic tool to use against the onslaught of anxiety. We're almost finished. We're almost at the end of our time together today. How are you feeling? As there's been a great deal of information in today's webinar on calming anxiety, we're curious to know what you think of it all. Have you encountered any tips which you feel might help you to soothe stress and anxiety? What is the first thing you'll try? Let me know in the comments below. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this webinar helpful. Again, my name is Dr. Pamela Frank. I'm a licensed naturopathic doctor in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. My phone number is 416-481-0222. My email address is pfrank, and like Nancy, D like David, so pfranknd at forcesofnature.ca. And my website is naturopathtoronto.ca. Thanks again. Have a